Hey everybody, it's Shams at Mascara and today we are doing a video on how to do infinity gel over nail forms. So you will need your shape solution and infinity gel and you will need a nail form. So we are using the traditional nail forms today guys. We'll do a dual form video as well but today we thought we'd do the ultimate application and that is using a mascara nail form. Now, what is Infinity Gel? So, Infinity is the best of both worlds. You've got the best of an acrylic and the best of a builder gel all combined into one. So, it's like if acrylic and gel got together and had a baby, this is what you'd get, Infinity Gel. So, you'll see it's got the buildability and the ability for you to build height and strength like an acrylic. And it's also got the workability of a builder gel so you've got all the time to work with it it's not going to cure it will only polymerize or cure once you put it in your uv lamp so yeah it's a bit of the both of the best worlds <laughs> so we're going to start off with nail preparation always remember nail preparation is your most important step guys so pay attention to how you prep Especially around the cuticle areas, make sure you push back and remove all the little dead skins that are sitting around the cuticle areas. I do concentrate on the cuticle area quite a bit when I prep because I find that in all my years of training, lifting always happens at the cuticle areas and it's mainly linked back to not prepping the nail properly. So use your file and take your time and gently buff all the little dead skins around that cuticle area so that you get good grip of your product. So it's kind of like exfoliating the nail, if you could call it that. I think that's a good explanation. Exfoliate your nail. <laughs> so I'm also going to just shape off the free edge of my nail as well. And this is just going to give me a neat shape. If you are somebody who has a shorter free edge and you're worried about fitting the form, you would just have to fit your form as close as possible. But just remember, don't cut off the free edge or file the free edge too short because it does help when you have to fit a form. So I'm going to use my buffer just to buff the rest of the nail and this is just going to prevent any over filing from happening. You can use an e-file to prep as well, but always just remember to keep your speed at a low speed so that we get no natural nail damage. So let's move on to our form and a lot of people find fitting forms a challenge but I'm going to show you an easy way to fit a form to yourself without all the hassle and bustle. So I'm going to use the inside center piece of the form and I'm going to apply that to the form on the inside sticky area to reinforce the center of the form because you're going to be doing a lot of work on the center so you want to have that area reinforced. And I'm gently, just gently going to touch the edges of the form and pinch the very tips together. So not all the way, just the very tips of the little edges of my form at the bottom. I'm going to tear open the perforated edge and now I'm going to slide my form onto my nail. It will get stuck to your fingers if you're working with a glove, but yes, just fight the stuck parts guys. <laughs> So we're going to apply our form under our nail and we want to get a snug fit. So this means I don't want to have a gap between the natural nail and the form. And I'm also going to be sure to check the position of my form. So this means I don't want my form going up or down. It's running straight with my natural nail. If it's going to face upwards or if it's going to go downwards, you're going to end up building a nail that's going to either be facing the ceiling or facing the floor. And I don't think we want that. So make sure you get the best fit where it's running straight with the side walls of the natural nail. Once you have it in place, you can pinch it and secure it so that you've got a nice snug fit that won't move around as you can see. Right, so now I'm going to dehydrate my nail. You'll notice that I don't have my form on here. I basically just wanted to show you when I paint the dehydrate on, how it actually dries the nail out. Um, and with the form, you couldn't really see it so well on the video, so I just pulled my form off to show you. So Dehydrate clears the oils and it prepares the surface for your protein bond. So a lot of people say you don't need a dehydrator. I do believe that you need one to get the perfect surface for your protein bond to work on. 
So now I'm applying my protein bond. And the best tip that I can give you here is that once you apply protein bond, do not touch the surface. Also, don't let your protein bond dry excessively. So when you apply it, start working immediately so that you don't have too much drying time of the protein bond on the nail plate. So now I've got a dappen dish with my shape solution and I'm prepping my number six mascara rose gold gel brush. So don't oversaturate your brush. This is one of the common mistakes with infinity gel. Tex use too much liquid and it saturates into the gel and it causes lifting of the infinity gel. So let's begin. We're going to squeeze out a pea size amount. I'm using my mixing tool which doubles up as a spatula just to scrape off the perfect amount and apply it to the center of my nail plate. Now I know infinity is challenging when it comes to what is the correct amount. You will get a feel for it and you will eventually be able to judge the perfect sizes as you are working. So I've got my little ball of product in the center of my nail. That little ball is not going anywhere as you can see. And I'm going to wet my brush with my shape solution, dab off the excess and I'm going to work my product around my cuticle area first. So just remember the cuticle area you can apply as the thinnest area of the nail. You don't need any reinforcing at the cuticle. So make sure it's nice and thin and flush so that you don't spend hours trying to file that flat. And also, if you do build it too thick at the cuticle, you may have a situation where your product starts lifting at the cuticle area. So we don't want that. We want to keep it nice and nice and smooth and nice and flat. So when you're happy with that cuticle area that you've started off with first, you can now move the rest of your product down, not using too much pressure, but basically just forcing, or I should say, moving the product down towards the free edge to create that free edge tip for you. So your infinity will tell you that it needs more shape solution. So this means what you will do is when it feels sticky um, to the touch of your brush, just dip your brush in, dab it off, and then go for it again and start working once again. So let your product guide you as to what it needs uh, to do when you're working with it. So I'm going to make sure that I've got all my edges worked into place and I'm just taking my time as you can see. Now guys, if you are somebody who works with acrylic, you will know that you need to work with speed because acrylic is something that polymerizes on temperature. So you can see the advantage of working with the infinity gel here. I'm going back and forth. I'm really taking my time, checking my edges, checking my side walls, making sure that I want it to look exactly like I need it to be. And I can go back and I can clean off the free edge line. As you can see now, I'm just making sure that my cuticle has no product attached to it. So I really can take my time, which is something you can't do when you work with acrylic. You need to be a little bit faster when you're working with acrylic products. So this is the great thing about Infinity. So I've cured my Infinity for two minutes in my LED lamp. That's right, you heard me correct. I did a two minute cure because I want to make sure that the product is cured all the way through. This is a dense, thick product. So you need to use a lengthened cure procedure to get 100% curing through your product. There will be a sticky layer because remember it's kind of like a builder gel so make sure you wipe that sticky layer off with some cleanser and now we're going to start our filing process so i start by filing my free edge straight and then i do my side walls this kind of gives me the visual perspective of what i want my nail to look like and once i've got all my filing lines in place which is my free edge and my side walls then we are going to start with the surface filing. And surface filing means I'm going to be filing my free edge at the cuticle, I'm sorry, free edge at the free edge, and then I'm going to be working up towards the cuticle area. So just keep filing, just keep buffing until you've got a nice smooth surface to your nail, you have no lumps and bumps. Turn your finger from side to side so you can check the position of the nail. And you can check to see that you don't have any high spots or low spots. So just take your time when you're filing. 
and don't over file because you could file too much product away so use a gentle pressure now once you're happy that you've got a nice smooth even surface from your file you can then start with your buffer buffing removes any scratch marks and any sort of minor surface imperfections so make sure you buff really well to remove those scratches so that when you see it in your nail you get a really beautiful even shiny surface to your nail and once you're done with the buffing you're going to remember that you're going to have to use some cleanser and you're going to have to clean that surface off to get rid of any dust or any imperfections left behind so once i'm done with my buffing and my final shaping of my nail i'm going to use a little bit of cleanser and i'm going to wipe all the dust from the surface this also prevents you from getting any dust into your top coat bottles so always remember to wipe the surface so we don't get any cross contamination happening so now i'm going to use my mascara carbon top coat which is one of my favorites and i'm going to seal my infinity gel the reason why i'm using carbon is because carbon has an anti-stain resistant property in it as well so that's the whole reason why i love using the carbon top coat so not too thin um, using a fairly medium amount, not too generous, so that it runs into the cuticles. You're going to apply your carbon top coat to seal your nail, and you're going to cure that for two minutes. And there we go. That's our finished sculpted nail with Infinity Gel. I'm sure you will agree it is a beautiful finish. I used the shade Cover Peach. So guys, try it. Practice makes perfect. It's an easy way of building nails. It's a beautiful product to work with. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun with your infinity gel.